Hey, Just Bricks here. I just got to the brick kiln. It is Sunday the 3rd. Uh, I'm going to start doing a vlog for this week, and hopefully I'm able to keep with it long enough to uh, have a video to put out on Friday. Um, yesterday, I was able to go to a brand new Target that just opened. Uh, I think this was, the, I know it was the first weekend they were open, other than like maybe a soft opening last week. But uh, I was able to pick up two of these plushies. They were... It's a brand new store, and these were already marked on clearance. This one was seven forty nine, and uh, this guy was ten forty nine, I believe. And then I got a couple more of the. Uh, come on, CMFs from this one. I think I got uh, one with the horse. Got another one of the uh, loot guys, and the toucan one and then i also picked up this copy of 41697 specifically for the neon yellow pieces for my color chart and then i figured some of those other pieces are decent enough that they should sell like the crab and the sea turtles uh i didn't look up the part out value so i'm sure it's nothing super fantastic but i picked up for that and then Last Sunday, I actually picked up these, and I just now finally brought them in for my wife's car. So, got those to add some parts to, because I know I have some more big parts coming when I start getting through the stuff, like these big old tr track switch pieces, um, boat hauls, train bases, stuff like that. So, probably stuff like this boat, and definitely this fire boat. I'm not going to plan on selling on BrickLink because they are huge and there's no real cheap way to ship something like this. So something like this, this boat haul especially, I'll probably try and plan on uh, selling locally. So uh, yeah, so yesterday I never got a chance to come back and pack these orders. So I'm going to get those packed up and ready to go out on Monday. And then I'm probably going to go through and pick my orders that I have right now. I think I think I only have like three orders currently. But there's like, I think it's 350 pieces or 400 pieces. Because uh, some of the orders, they bought a lot of stuff. Like, um, I know the one order bought, I think, 30 of these. And then 10 of these this piece and a few other things that are going to take up a lot of space so i'm um, going to go ahead and take care of that and i should come back with an update after that i went ahead and put those um neon yellow pieces on my color chart i think what i'm going to end up doing is this is pretty much full and i know there's more colors that i haven't put on here yet uh particularly some of the um I think there's some of the trans colors I haven't put on there. And so what I'm going to end up doing is taking one of these large gray base plates and changing everything from that color chart over onto one of these plates. So that's yet to come. All right. I am just about finished for the day. It is Sunday night. I left this afternoon and then came back for little over an hour tonight um or just about an hour tonight and i took and went through all those pick a brick parts and uh i've got the tiles up here that took up more than a big drawer then got the white tiles here those big white slopes there my ingot pieces um i decided i'm not going to consolidate any of these with existing lots just because I don't feel like doing all that tonight. And then uh, these were just kind of mixed in with some of the parts. These I picked up a few of just for a little change. Got some cheese slopes just to fill gaps. And then surprisingly, this was mixed in with some of the pick a brick parts. Probably was supposed to be in the minifigure stand, but it was in there. So it ended up in my cup along with uh, these two cameras too. So grab those that in that pick a brick bin as well. 
So those are the parts. Totals up to 2,000 items and 15, uh, 2,400 items and 15 lots for $218.74 at six month average. I did lower some of them a little bit like these uh, white slope pieces. The average sold price is like $1.10, I think. And I lowered them just because I figured there's a whole lot for sale now. The fact that the UCS ATAT just came out and they have a bunch of white pieces on the pick brick wall seems kind of like they were just trying to encourage people to build uh, Hoth mocks and this is a good idea. That's pretty much why I picked up the pieces. I figured people would want to be building those right now. And so I went ahead and got a bunch of those and we'll see how they sell. I'm gonna go ahead and upload these and then call it a night. And I guess I'll be back tomorrow. All right, it is Monday night. I uh, stopped by a Walmart that was out of the way today and picked up a couple things on my way home from work. Um, I picked up this copy of the uh, Hogwarts transfer, uh, Transfiguration class. Um, not a super great deal, and I know that those book pieces don't sell that well, but there are a lot of good tan pieces. I like the sticker sheet, and really I wanted to get the McGonagall figure for my store, and then, of course, the rat and the frog. So just a couple decent pieces in there, and uh, picked that up. It was a little less than, than shelf price, and then... Uh, they still had some Marvel figures, and I think I got every copy of the um, Sylvie minifigure that they had with the little alligator, because I figured that part was a good one to have in my store. Alright, so I have these figures all parted out. Oh, those are clear. That's why I couldn't see them. And I went ahead and parted out the uh, Series 22 figures I had the other day. So those are all in here, too. Uh, these two I'm going to include as the figures. Everything else is getting parted out. And then I've changed some of the prices on things like uh, the alligators and the horses and something else. I don't know. Some of the minifigure parts have bumped up a little bit because I feel like they're worth a little more than what they're selling for currently. And I'm okay with holding on to them until they sell for what I want. So, uh, yeah. Yeah gonna go ahead and get these uploaded into my store all right so I got those uh, collectible minifigure parts uploaded and then I also parted out um, these figures figure packs here that I got the other night and the uh, friends turtle rescue vehicle whatever they call this set and uh, got the pieces here in those drawers that needed to be consolidated or reassigned and so I've got those parts ready to go back up into the or not back up got those parts ready to go up into the store I'm gonna go ahead and add this wheel as well that was extra in one of the sets that it wasn't supposed to come in so I'll finally get that uploaded as well just it's just been floating around on the counter here so I want to get it back well I want to get it into the store all right and those uh, three sets combined for $50.27 worth of parts, and I paid like $32 for it, so it's really a bad part-out value. Um, I think most of the bad part-out value is probably this set here. I didn't double-check it, but I mostly bought it to get those pieces from a color chart. So uh, anything that sells from it is just extra. So... Uh, Alrighty, um, got that uploaded, and I don't know what else I'm going to get done tonight. Hey, Just Bricks here with a Tuesday night video. I uh, am here in the kitchenette. I got some of these parts here that have been in the sink for going on a couple weeks now. Uh, I've got them soaking again. I, I drained off the water and then refilled it. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to clean too many of them. I did get these minifigures washed, and now they're just sitting here drying. Um, these I finished up the other night. I want to get them listed when I flip on my train track. 
seats in the other room. And then uh, that's a nice piece right there. Some of these parts are a little discolored. This piece right here is absolutely disgusting. It's awful. But most of the minifigures uh, were pretty clean. Some of them st still might need a little touch up work. Like that one's still got some stuff on it. Or I guess those are actually just bite marks. So that one's not going to get sold anyway. But uh, yeah, some of these uh, forest men and knight minifigures are in real good shape. Like the print on that is perfect on this one too. Look at that. Very pretty print. But then we got the spacemen in there. Well, for one thing, he's supposed to be white and he's tan. And there's no planet left at all on most of these. And then uh, the Futuron guys, they're in pretty good shape. So, got those to get uploaded here soon. Uh, I've got this horse that was in there too. He's supposed to be white, but also looks tan on one side. He's gonna go in my bin of parts that I'm keeping because, oh, that got dark. But um, I'm gonna be building my LIGO Western when I finally get a chance. And I don't think anyone's gonna care if a couple of the horses are discolored. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him that card out of the way. Go back here and throw him in my animal bin. These things here, uh, we're in a bulk lot. They are not Lego, as far as I can tell. Yeah, there's no logo in there. And I know this piece was never made in that color, but again, I'm probably going to use them in my Western. And I've got some other ones in here that came in bulk lots with bite marks and stuff. I'm not terribly worried about condition for my horses. Got my goats in there. They're nice pieces. Love the animals. Okay, uh, that had absolutely nothing to do with anything. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here tonight, and I, uh, I might be back tomorrow night on Wednesday. Hey, JB here. It is Wednesday. Uh, I just finished packing my one order that I had today. Um, I took and finished sorting the used that was in this container it was already partially sorted um and then i just pulled out a bunch almost every brick from this lot has a lot of play wear on it i don't know how well it's going to show up but the, the bricks are very dull and so uh i just chucked them all in my seconds bin and i'll deal with those later but uh yeah i also went ahead and put my minifigures from that bulk lot in my minifigure container there and that's about it. I washed some more Lego. It's in the other room drying. And uh, that's probably all that I'm going to do tonight because I'm not planning on coming back later after dinner. Got something going on and won't be able to make it back tonight. So <laughs> that's your short Wednesday update and I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Just Bricks here. It is Thursday. Um, wearing my brand new Patriots hat. And I got the sink emptied. There's still a couple nasty things stuck in there from stuff I washed off. Uh, so these pieces have been washed, but they're still very, very wet. So the, those need to be dried. I've got this batch here in this bin, which is mostly spread out enough that it should be dry, dry, able to dry out. Oh, I can't speak English today. This container, I'm sure at the bottom has a bunch of water, so I'll need to get a lid and strain that off some. Uh, I also got these two train motors that I clean the tops off but I don't really have a way of testing them because my battery cases that I have, uh, well this one you can see that piece there is all corroded and then this one a little less corroded on the top but the inside is more corroded and then both of the uh, lids for those battery compartments had some corrosion on there so I'm going to try and clean those up and see if I can test it but I don't really have a way of telling if these aren't working or if the motors aren't working because 
I tried before and I couldn't get anything to work, but I couldn't tell if it was the battery box or the motors. So uh, I might just end up listing these as is. Sadly, I did find a few pieces that are really, really badly discolored. Like this piece here, that gold is in absolutely fantastic condition, but this used to be white and it is almost tan looking, which is just crazy. But uh, yeah, and then these are the pieces that are clean and mostly dry. I had them set up, uh, set in that container there. I set them in there last night and let them dry out. And some of them still got a look, are still a little damp. Unfortunately, this piece here, the plastic didn't seem to like being left in the water for three weeks or so. So uh, the plastic's got a little bit of a white, whitish look to it. So if you got vintage pieces, maybe don't leave them in the water that long. And then there's some more pieces here that are just very discolored. And I might list some of these, just note that they're discolored. Cause like, I mean, that's, that's pretty bad though. I don't know. This one. Okay, never mind. That's just water. I thought it was bent out on the side there. And then I got another motor that I don't know if it works and it still needs to be cleaned. Oh, and it's busted on the back anyway. So if this one does work, I'll probably keep it. Look at that. that I didn't know that piece came out. Interesting. So, uh, yeah, stuff to, still got stuff to check out on these, but I think I'm going to go ahead and maybe sort this container out in the other room and then try and get some pieces uploaded from the uh, bulk used in the other room. So here's a few cool pieces that I uh, pulled out of that bulk lot. So just a few things that I saw that I would thought were interesting. Um, I know this trans red glass, I just looked it up. Wow, that frame is really scratched. The glass isn't too bad for the glass condition, but um, yeah, that frame is pretty rough. But yeah, um, I know the glass is like $1.50, I think, on average. Uh, this station brick is not as much as I was thinking. It's only like $0.27, cents, but it's pretty cool. And then I got uh, these two red panels. These, I think, on average are about 5 something, which is pretty cool. And they're, I mean, they're not perfect, but they're in pretty decent shape for a trans part from that long that long ago and then uh this train crossing piece here's got pretty good color on it and it's not got a lot of wear to the pattern so that's probably another three i think it was three something on average so i'll probably list around four bucks and then these aren't terribly exciting like they don't sell for all that much i think it's like 60 cents or something like that but these always sell quickly i, I don't think i've kept one in the store more than a month or two so just some interesting parts. Basically, trans red is a good color. <laughs> All right, so I've got these parts here that I uploaded. Um, I got some more that are in one of these other drawers. Oh, yeah, these here. Uploaded some stickered assemblies from uh, some old 90s sets, I think. Early 90s. This one, the sticker's a little beat up, so it's... I think it's the cheapest one on BrickLink right now. But not very many. I think there are only... Th one of these, there was only like three of them currently listed. I also have this one here. Uh, some of these shell signs. Those are pretty cool, except they're very, very yellowed. I went ahead and listed this, this discolored one. I don't know why anybody would want it, but hey, maybe somebody wants to build a tan spaceship. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I got those parts uploaded. I also uploaded, uh, can't really see in there very well. That's 90 of the, uh, what's it called? The sleeper tracks for the train, for the train tracks. I don't know if that's the right term for them, but the pieces to connect the train track together. And those are actually supposed to be down in this bin here.
because that's where the other ones are. I have some from a previous lot left over down there still. They don't sell too too quickly and they're very cheap for the most part. I think those were 18 cents on average. So I got those uploaded as well. And then I uh, went ahead and picked my one order as a bunch of windscreen pieces. So glad to see those sell some. Um, I think that's going to pretty much pack uh, wrap up tonight. I did want to get started on doing a sort down on these two by plates, but that's going to have to wait. It's almost dinner time and I probably won't be coming back after dinner. Uh, but yeah, so I'd like to get these sorted out as one of the next things I do. I mean, I've gotten somewhere with the bulk used, but I'm still pretty slow at it. Um, Definitely not my forte at doing it fast. So I still have quite a bit to get done with these used pieces. Um, I have emptied another container, which is cool though. So that's good. And it'd be good if I can get these containers that are emptied, the parts that are from them, actually into bins and drawers on the wall, get them for sale, get them sold get some money but yeah I got some stickers there from pieces where the stickers either weren't applied correctly or they started to tear so I just stuck them up here and uh yeah I don't know I'm just kind of rambling so uh yeah I think that's gonna wrap up Thursday and I'll see if I get back here tomorrow and it is Friday, it's just about three o'clock, a little after three actually, just got here. Uh, these pieces here seem to be all dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out. That's another negative of uh, leaving some pieces in water for too long. That's not good, unfortunate. But looking at that, it actually looks like that was rusty before it ever went in there. But I bet it didn't have that white stuff on it. Anyway, I'm going to empty these pieces out of this container and uh, put them in this tub for now until I get them um, sorted out. And then these pieces here that are still pretty wet, I'm going to dump them from here into this container to get them spread out a little bit and try and get them dried off. Last night before I left, I did actually end up sorting out these things just by type and then I'll do a sort by color. and try and get these plates uploaded here soon. Um, I think a couple of them, oh, these were a little bent and damaged, so they're gonna go down there, but um, I'm gonna get these pieces sorted out by color, get them uploaded. I got a bunch of empty drawers there. Uh, I think it's time for an update on the drawers. Switch to that view. So we are up to drawer 13, 12 up here with parts in them. And by the end of the today, I should be, I'll probably be close to finishing off this top row of units. So 1342. And then the big drawers over here, I'm uh, surprisingly close to stacking, filling those out. And yeah, I still got a ways to go to fill the rest of the store, but definitely making progress and uh yes i do not like having it go all the way across for each row i should have done the columns just it would have been neater because that's what's done everywhere else and it just seems to take a lot longer to fill up a section because if i were going by column i'd be filled to about here i think which just looks better. I guess I could theoretically go through and start pulling the drawers out, but uh, that's just a lot more work because I don't feel like trying to pull these out and then put them back in the right order. It just seems like an awful lot of work. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the color sort and start uploading these and then... 
I'm going to go through and sort that used lot. These are just a couple pieces I pulled out when I was uh, dumping the pieces out to finish drying. So I'm going to take and sort this stuff. This is the, the parts that I just dumped out of the dry bin. I mean, some of these parts obviously still need to be cleaned again. That was very dirty. But uh, yeah, I want to get these pieces. Ooh, that's bad. But yeah, I'm, I want to get these pieces sorted out and then have another category to upload here soon. All right, I've gotten the two by plates and three by plates uh, cataloged and ready to go up into the store. And I'm about to start sorting out the four by uh, two by four plates. And then uh, still got all the big ones. I started with the little ones and work, started working my way up because I figured that way the more valuable ones would be at the end and I wouldn't be front loading, which gives me something to try and work towards. Okay, so I got all of my plates cataloged and in drawers and ready to go up. It's a total of 1,099 parts in 123 lots for a total of $130.79. So quite a few pieces here. One of the best lots in the whole thing is right here, dark green. 15 of them only in one set. Uh, the average sold price is a dollar, but it has pretty much 100% sell through. So I figured I'd list them a little high. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and upload these and get them in my store. So that took me from drawer 313 all the way down 1361 so made a little bit of progress tonight pretty excited about that all right it is saturday um i just packed up my orders i picked them last night but i didn't pack them up and uh i just made this box out of one of the uh video sets and it was too big to hold a base plate i i had one of the uh, 32 by 32 base plates in this order so I went ahead and cut a custom box for it and what I ended up doing is since this one was too long I cut it and then I used this edge as a guide like I stuck it on the cardboard box and then traced around it cut out so I could get the flaps correct on the side I cut so pretty proud of how that turned out Being able to turn a box inside out is a useful skill. Uh, maybe I should do a video on that one time. Just uh, let me know in the comments if you think that's a good idea. Okay, so I went ahead and sorted out what was left of that uh, bulk used lot that was all dirty vintage stuff. Um, I cleaned it all out, threw a bunch of it in here. We got some interesting plates and things here. A lot of black, red, and yellow in this bulk lot. And then also a lot of old light gray. Um, see a bunch of those red slopes from this lot. Black and red plates. <laughs> and then some of these wedge plates and things. Um, I'm sure a lot of this stuff, not necessarily a lot, but there's some weird pieces in there. And then these are some of the parts that looked interesting enough to try and look up early, uh, including a bunch more of those red antennas. I think there were five or six more that I found in the lot. So I'll probably just change the quantity on that and get those all in the same drawer. And then um, there's some more decorated tiles. I think in the future when I do it, I am going to sort out decorated tiles and decorated bricks just to start off with, just because I know that I'm going to want that stuff pulled out anyway but uh that is gonna wrap it up for tonight uh i actually had a teen activity with my youth group earlier tonight and just got back to pick up something that i left here earlier and saw that this container just sitting with about maybe a two or three pounds of lego still in it so i decided to go ahead and sort that out real quick before i went home and when I come back, I'm going to have to figure out what will be the next category that I deal with. 
I think for next week, I want to try and get these slopes at least down, down sorted. So I have like the large slopes, uh, some of these pieces. I don't really know if these count as slopes, but that's where I've been throwing them. And try and get those pieces sorted out. Like the real large pieces. And then like the smaller slopes. I don't know if I should have put that in with snot. The studs not on top bricks, but I mean, I'm all, I I'm sure I'll change things up a dozen times while I do this, but then maybe have curved slopes in separate sections. I think some of the things in here, like these arch bricks, I think some of these are actually in the um, modified brick section. I think that's what was shown on uh, David West's categories. And so that's what I did for part of the time, but some of the stuff is sorted ahead of time, which I mean, honestly, in here somewhere, there's probably full on slopes. And I know there's pieces like this, which I think should be in the wedge category that are in this container, just because I had partially sorted stuff and didn't bother resorting it when I dumped it in here. But that's going to be part of what I do next week because I'm getting a lot of categories that are over full. I would like to do something with these just weird pieces and try and get them uploaded as well. Maybe try and get some of this track stuff done because I know, I don't know if they're super valuable or anything i'm pretty sure they're not they're pretty cheap but maybe not valuable but desirable <laughs> so i'd like to get some of that stuff uploaded and then one category that i know david west doesn't have separate is these pieces here that are mostly these little hinge pieces i like to get those listed um, i know i just uploaded a bunch of those the other day but now i've got a bunch more and these pieces are fun to me. I like them. And then I actually have some that are uh, solid studs. So that's uncommon for me. <laughs> but yeah, uh, excited with how far I've gotten this week. Glad I got through all those two by plates. And then I went and got a nice layer of them in the container again already. But uh, yeah, that's going to wrap up the video for this week. Thanks for watching. Uh, have you made it this far? Hmm, what should the question be this week? Do you have a favorite soda? As you can kind of tell, I like Mountain Dew. So yeah, if you made it this far into the video, go ahead and put your favorite soda in the uh, in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Until next time, y'all have a good one. Feed the rush.